trailer for Godzilla vs. Kong promises a clash for the ages, but one small detail has fans asking, why is Kong so dang big? He used to be dwarfed by Godzilla, but now he's almost the same size. So we're going to use the established lore of Legendary's MonsterVerse and our own nerdy know-how to explain Kong's impressive growth spurt. The most obvious explanation for Kong's size change is, well, if he's going to be taking on a towering titan like Godzilla, then the script demands that he be roughly equal in strength and power. Otherwise, Godzilla would just step on him at the 5 minute mark before you even finish your popcorn. But it appears this issue was taken into account back during production of 2017's Kong Skull Island. So seeing Kong suddenly the size of a skyscraper, the largest he has ever appeared on film, is actually not a retcon. Kong's height has changed over the decades. Usually he's anywhere from 25 to 55 feet tall, but Skull Island was the biggest yet at 104 feet tall. Yet, even at that height, Kong would still only be laying roundhouses into Godzilla's knees, considering Godzilla is a whopping 393 feet tall in this new franchise. So here's how the film's producers planned ahead for Kong's big grow up. Kong Skull Island takes place in 1973, and while promoting the film, co-producer Mary Parent said that Kong is, quote, an adolescent when we first meet him in the film. He's still growing into his role as Alpha. And promotional materials for the movie also described Kong as an adolescent super species. So Skull Island Kong was a teenager, and now we're finally seeing him as a fully grown adult. Supporting this in the film itself, John C. Riley's Skull Island character explains Kong's whole size deal. You don't want to wake up the big one. How big is it? It's bigger. It wiped out his whole family. Kong's the last of his kind, but he's still growing. And you better hope he does. Now, the key takeaway from that is Kong was still growing back when we first met him. So given there's roughly 50 years between the events of Skull Island and the upcoming Godzilla vs. Kong movie, it makes a certain amount of sense that Kong would grow up to be almost as big as Godzilla. There's no official comment as to just how tall Kong will be for his monster mash and bash with Godzilla, but it sure looks like he's reached peak alpha levels for his particular subspecies. Well, we're all done sizing up Kong ahead of the movie's release, but we still want to hear from you. Which monster do you think will take home the crown? And what else do you want to know about Godzilla vs. Kong? Let us know in the comments. And for more on the film, be sure to check out our trailer breakdown for some theories on why Godzilla might be the bad guy of the movie. And be sure to follow and subscribe wherever you like to watch IGN. I keep reaching for greatness because I'm from it. Bows to who? Nobody gonna stop for me. Kong bows to no one. Here we go.